Oh shoot, the ad's done. Okay. Well, I'll be muting every so often whenever there's like downtime in the the game because I may still be eating. I just woke up. To be honest, I woke up so late. <laughs> I woke up so late, but whatever. Okay. Mm. Oh yeah. Happy Thursday. Happy Lazy Thursday. I'm gonna move on over. Hello, hello. Wow, look, it populated exactly when I needed it to. So, where were we? I think I've, I've I think I'm going to be fighting for my life in this case. I have a feeling. Hold up. Let me adjust my uh, my desk. I have a feeling I'm going to be fighting for my life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely fighting for my life. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, wait. Let me... Do you guys hear Elf open, st opening? Stuck in your head? Taku elf? What is that? I don't know, no, Taku elf. But I'll believe you if it's a bob. You know, I have these. I want to test something. On Twitch? You should be able to open closed captioning, but... Oh, uh, look at that! It does work! And I hear that it's pretty accurate. So I, I kind of want to give this a try. Let me... Change the line, though. Well, we'll just do one line. There we go. Look, it's like perfectly placed underneath the game. Maybe I can make it longer. Like 70 characters. Let's see if that'll work. Is it too long? No, that's actually perfectly fine. Cool. And it's just gonna reiterate everything that I say because I'm gonna be reading on stream. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, cool. I will have a click. Save for later. Watch later. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we're on case three of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Wow, that actually fit, but now it's being all silly. Hold up. Never mind. It's 65. That's cool that I can change it. Okay. And we're, we're going to do Turnabout Big Tops Trial. <laughs> Which I'm not excited for. I mean, it's alright. Just people are... Silly. A little too silly in this trial. And again, I'll be eating, so I probably won't be reading everything in the meantime. Until, until I've grabbed up. Okay, let's start. Yes.
Don't fly, Max. They'll just pin the blame on you more. Considering all the evidence that they have. He wants to fly. <laughs> of course he does. Nobody likes the name Billy Bob Johns. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. That's so sad. <laughs> I like how Gumshoe just gets dragged into every case. <clears throat> no, Gumshoe. Gumshoe. <laughs> he literally gets dragged into every single case. The night of the crime, snow was falling until 9.40 p.m., making it out. Making it extremely cold out. All the circus performers were gathered in the big top to practice their routines. The practice session broke up around 10 p.m. The murder itself took place in the plaza in front of the lodging house at 10.15. I'm not actually... 
I, I read all of that, did not compute any of it. The victim was found bent over a wooden box dead as a doornail. The cause of death was blood force trauma that stabbed the vertebrae in his back. In his back. He was beaten to death. Autopsy. Report. Okay. Von Karma better not have learned from Edgeworth how to update the 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 autopsy report. Airport, where are you? What time was he dead? At 10 15.
god. There's really nothing. Why do you need to look at the court record, Phoenix? I don't... I mean, okay, an end shell is enough to get the... the footprints, but... Why does that pique your interest? Well, what else about it piques your interest, huh? <laughs> I'm not awake enough for this. Uh-uh. I'm glad you're not dead yet. What do you mean? <laughs> That's ominous. Why, why would I be dead? <laughs> I'm not even off the stand yet. Obviously, but that's due to you being slow and unable to take a hint. Oh, no. My accidental assassination? Oh! You're right! Yeah, I just woke up. I haven't even... <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm sneezing. I'm kidding. <laughs> this is Von Karma. Call your next witness. Benjamin Woodman to the stand. Okay, sounds good. I wonder if Trillo will show up on the stand as well. I hate it. I don't even remember the voices that I gave them. Uh -oh. My full name is Trillo Quest. I'm employed as an operatic tenor. <laughs> yeah. The subtitle thing is just like, oh my god, what is, what is going on? What is she even saying? Excuse me, the witness told the stand was the one that Mr. Benjamin Woodman, the witness. That rope must be cutting off your circulation. I said that I was the seer. Maybe you don't believe me. Fine, I'll grace you with the song. Me, 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 me. The world of the law. Exciting and daring. Guilt or innocence. Decided by a judge dressed up like a woman. Well, what do you think? I had a good rhythm. It's just the lyrics. They leave something to be desired, so to speak. Trillo, you know better than to insult a judge. Shut up! Just look at your nose. You think you'd have the sense to fix it. It's so ugly. I would have punched you in the face, so the off chance swelling would help. You know that your nose is the reason you've never been an A-list star. That's mean. That's mean. Celebrities was really enjoy saying that everything that flashes to their minds. What's going on here? Order, order! I demand who the no to know who the witness is. Don't don't worry about me, sir. I'll let Trillo handle this. I'm not worried about you. I just think you're crazy. <laughs> oh no. <clears throat> Practice was a rare I left this hunt with a stooge, I mean clown. Once so we got to the lodging house, I ditched him and went to the plaza's entrance. And that's when I saw Max heading towards the scene of the crime. He was the only one heading that way. How could that dog not be the killer? And the police showed up and took the magic boy away. You saw Maximilian Galactica heading towards the scene. You're sure about that? Without a doubt, he had a silk hat, cloak, and the dumb white roses on his chest. Silk hat, rose... What was it? Silk hat, rose, cloak, and white roses. Hmm.
Why can't they be the culprit? Here's the absolute proof. A silk hat. This is found at the scene of the crime at the laws of the defendant. Without question, he was wearing his signature hat during practice. And the clown was the murderer. There should be no reason for this hat to be at the scene. Okay. <laughs> oh no, Phoenix. Please, dude. You can't be bullied by a 16 year old. But I'm a good thunker! <laughs> That's so cute. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. Thank you. Nick, I think you should put a little bit more effort to prepare your questions. Wait, 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 go back. Say it all together now. Silk hat, cloak, white roses. Thank you. I think you should study up on your celebrities. Great, I'm gonna shut down by a toy. Ten thirty, so fifteen minutes after. Shut up, you stupid toy. Ugh. This is actually gonna kill me. Can I? Uh, uh, you. Well, if he was waiting outside in the cold, it was for one person. And one person only. He was waiting for the animal tamer, Regina. You were waiting outside. For Regina. Am I mistaken? Is this true? Well, I, uh, I can't really, you can't really ask me that question. Who cares? I was waiting for that night. What's important is what I saw. Don't for you, don't you forget it. Well, well, well. The puppet may be a bit stiff, but he's right. Huh? See, at this stage, I have no reason to doubt the witness's testimony. No contradictions either. I'm really in judgment, and that's moving along with the testimony. 
in the habit of tearing motive for incriminating Max, but he, well, Max is part of a bitter love triangle. Ugh. I don't know anymore. Yeah, Phoenix, I agree. It's dumb. Press this again. Who else would he have seen? Oh shoot, I just keep getting into these things and then this game. <laughs> Could you have saw? What did you have seen, Mr. Whistleberry? That's correct. Trillo was at the entrance of the plaza. You should have seen the ringmaster as well. What are you talking about? The ringmaster and Max are in what's who sing it? <laughs> the subtitle's like, I don't know what you're trying to say there. Is that according to the defendant? Unlikely story. The Maximilian Galactic was supposed to be in the Ring Max's room. Why was he just as the witness stated at the scene of the crime? Stated at the scene of the crime, I see. Alright. There's obviously a reason why the witness was there that night. He spent all that time waiting for Regina to arrive. Moreover, even if someone else would have walked her in front of him, I doubt he would have paid them a second thought. He got me. All right, all right, I'll spill the beans for this time. It's true. I was waiting for Regina. Pain. Oh. <laughs> Don't volunteer things. Mr. Quits, tell us the truth this time, and I mean the whole truth. Propose to her? Okay. You were what? Waiting to propose? What's the matter? You think the humans have a monopoly on marriage? That... The matter of puppet marriage is not under review in this case. You're the judge! I mean, look at your horrible outfit! More pain! Thanks to your bumbling, my perfect plan is not so perfect anymore. Now we have to waste time getting to the bottom of some silly proposal by a puppet. Oh my god, really? Who cares? I agree, Von Karma. I kept in my pocket waiting for the chance to propose and give it to her. Of course, I had it in my pocket that night. It was a present for her. Oh, that's a lie. That's a freaking lie. Right there. Why you lying? I need to sneeze again. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I'm back. Just because I'm old doesn't mean I couldn't propose to- Ew, judge. Ew. 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 Why- why is it not taking my ew? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Agreed, Phoenix. Less than honorable. Judge wishing he was young again. Don't be surprised I was getting surprised to Regina. I even had something to give to her. What was it? What were you gonna?
gonna give it give to her. You know exactly what I was gonna give her a dumb skull. The only thing I could find that would match Regina's beauty. What was it? She needs to know. You're gonna die when you hear this. It's engagement it's an engagement ring. Everybody shocked. Mr. Phoenix writes joke has gone too far. Check for this to end right now. This is what looks like it's about to lash out at almost anything. One head for that thing will probably shut someone up for a long time. Pain equals bad. <laughs> Pain equals bad and need push on anyway. It may be something of a joke, but this is a historic moment. The first time- Oh! I advise you to cut this argument short. <laughs> I'd have to agree with the vets here. Testimony, please revive their testimony. Especially about the engagement ring. I'd like to stick to the facts, not sociology. Sure do enjoy sweating the details, especially for a man in a black bathrobe. Interjects. When I get a hold of them, I'm gonna saw his wood block in half, and not with magic. Oh, Max. Well, they always say that love creates rivalries. In the end, I was able to. I wasn't able to give it to her, so I, I know you don't want. I have it. Pull it out right now. Give it to him. Give it to him. Save because you don't know what's gonna happen because this case is dumb. <laughs> Are you talking about this ring? Yeah, that's right, Phoenix. Go get him.
but he's busy yelling. The witness is lying! He's blinded by his rivalry with Max! <laughs> I love looking at the subtitles. They're just... they're trying their best. Dick boy. Witnessing Max. I'll give you that I was waiting for that night for, blah, 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 for Regina. <laughs> but that doesn't change the fact that I saw Max at the plaza that night. He showed up after I'd been waiting there for about five minutes. It's a good evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. I'm absolutely sure it was him. I saw Maximilian Galactic at the sea. There's no way I could mistake someone wearing those three ridiculous symbols. Hmm. My god. <laughs> Nobody is willing to do the time math. Time math is annoying though. It's like an evening to him, but he didn't even acknowledge my presence. So you testified that you said good evening to Max that night. Since you asked me, obviously, incredibly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning, good afternoon during the day, right? And it's obvious that good night to someone at night. What, Ben? You got something to add? Let me guess, that's not it, Trillo. You say good evening at night. I'm sorry, Trillo. Mr. Quest, I'd prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside of the courtroom. Impossible. The performer lives and breathes his performances. You should know better. There's got to be something wrong with this bit of the testimony. That's half of the comedy act. Ow, ow. <laughs> Go back. Isn't that a bit strange to you? Sure, it's like a pop quiz. 
I'll answer, I'll answer with the chorus. Everyone together now. Silk hat. Cloak. White roses. Thank you very much. Maya, you didn't have to join in, did you? But it's fun chatting up with everyone else. There has to be holding a testimony somewhere. I agree, but if we have proof to make something stick. Okay. Honestly, though, wasn't it something else? Unless the cloak counts as the playing cards, right? Because I thought it was Silk Hat Rose's playing card. <laughs> Good heavens, I don't remember. Uh... I wish it says explicitly here. Or like in the three circles underneath that has the hat, the roses, and the cloak. But they're just kind of like whatever. Oh. gonna be right at some point. I know it. I'm absolutely sure it was him.
my god. <laughs> well, what's the answer here? I feel like this one doesn't make sense either. Oh no. Maybe it's this one, but I don't know how to prove that they got it out for each other. Yes, I do. <laughs> Trello, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the Mordor? Fight? Fight over Regina? It was that big of a deal. A disagreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. Juicy orange, 76% orange. I could save. I was like, shucks. Do I want to? Yeah, I can take this one. <laughs> I think he saw a different person. No! Must be Regina. Oh no, Judge. It's not Regina. If it was Regina, Trello would have given her the engagement ring. Does he like audibly make the gulp noise? <laughs> Okay, we have a 
established that they've only seen one person. I applaud you on your effort, but... Who? That person who can uh, only be answered by the next witness. Who could be that person? I did not read that correctly. <laughs> Your Honor, the prosecution will provide beyond a shadow of a doubt an answer to the question and evidence that clearly establishes one thing. But there is no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this crime. Very well. The court will take a 10 minute recess. During that time, I request that the prosecution prepare for their next witness. Court is now in recess. To be continued. Okay. Save. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. To be continued. Except I'm gonna take a quick break. Um, I'm gonna get some water. And maybe like another snack. I want something sweet. Really quick. Only give me like three minutes, I'll run some ads so that way. How's my sanity? It's still intact. Thank God. Thank God, just because I understood the assignment pretty okay, but I think it's the second half that really makes me want to tear my hair out, so yeah, it, it'll be there. Anyway, quick break. Um, I'm going to run some ads, so that way we have like another hour of no ads, and I'm going to get some water, walk around, maybe eat on like a brownie or something really, really quick, so I'll be back.
Wow, I'm like hitting all the wrong buttons on my Steam Deck right now. Yikes. We should be back. Let me turn this off. And turn this up. Let's get to it. Let's get back in here. I need to give my thumbs a break. I've been playing too much mobile games. Sweetie, you have to believe me. I didn't go anywhere near that crime scene. So then, where were you when the murder took place? We talked about it yesterday, remember? I was in the ringmaster's room. While you were there, it was the ringmaster who left the room, right? Exactly. He told me to wait in the room because he would be right back. That's when the ringmaster headed to the scene of the crime. I was about to say cream with the sign, right? <laughs> That's what it seems like. But the ringmaster must have been wearing Max's costume, right? Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. And I went straight to the ringmaster's room, still dressed in my stage clothes. But when I got there, I went ahead and took the costume off. Which means... It means that the ringmaster could have taken his costume and went out looking like Max. Fabulous! That's fabulously possible possibility. <laughs> well done, Nick. However, sweetie, my nose is so itchy. Why would the ringmaster want to dress up like me? Isn't that a bit strange? Hmm. If you think about it, all they found at the scene of the crime was my silk hat. What about my cloak? Where did that go? Double hmm. Wow, Max, I never thought of that. You should be a detective or something. Uh-oh, I'm never quite sure what to be when I grew up. Magic, magician or president? You have no idea how hard it was to make that decision. That's really cool. Fabulous. This mystery just keeps getting deeper. Deep, deep, deeper we go. Na 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 na. Da 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 da. Now that everyone is back, let's get started. The court is now back in session. Ms. Von Karma, please proceed with the prosecution's case. Very well. I'm now call my next witness. A pitiful clown with the unfortunate distinction of having seen the entire thing. Will Mr. Lawrence Curls, that's his name, please take the stand. Why does she just call him a pitiful clown? Because he is kind of. <sighs> Wait, hold up. I wish I could go back there. Was that like... A Fresh Prince of Bel Air uh, uh, reference in West Clownadelphia. I was born and raised. I didn't have enough time to read that though. I know. I know. It's like, finally, your whips are doing something right. You're whipping the person into place. I know, I know. 
I'm not the greatest comedian in the world. I haven't, I haven't been able to make people laugh for 10 years. No matter what I say, all I get in return is a vacant stare and a polite applause. If someone ever laughs at my jokes, I've taken a laughing at them myself. It's a bad habit, but hey, at least I'm trying. Imagine my predicament. I'm a clown who can't make people laugh, I'm almost useless. I keep trying. I even tried to come up with jokes just for today. But this atmosphere is very nerve-wracking. I decided to try and make everyone laugh. Seriously. Everyone. What do you think of me? How am I doing? What is this? What, what is this, uh... This testimony? Witness. Uh... We will listen to your call for help after the court proceedings are over. We know you're compromised. <laughs> Maya, please. Let's please stick to the facts of this case. Really? You'll really hear me out? Well, I'll make sure that one of my staff will be your straight man later. Thank you. Thank you. I can't wait. Poor Gumshoe. Uh, settled, shall we begin once again with a testimony? Of course we can. I'll talk for as long as you want. Just wasting my time. The night of the murder after practice was over, I went straight back to my room. You had no idea how tired I was and I out -pooped. I thought I'd go straight to sleep, but before I did, I glanced out the window. That's when I saw two silhouettes. They were a bit far away, though. It was the ringmaster and he was with Max. He was wearing his cloak. I kept watching them, and all of a sudden, Max clonked the ringmaster over the head. That's very interesting. When the sight witness account is to be, believe to be believed, I have enough to pass judgment right now. Of course you can. There is no way that this account can be criticized. However, the witness is a bit, yeah, how do you say, off kilter? Almost like he has some sort of atmosphere of guilt surrounding him. Ah, ah, ah! I'm a bit of my insincere smile. That's all right, please begin the defense's cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Nick, you gotta find some kind of contradiction in this testimony. I know. That's right, Your Honor. I'm afraid that if you push this witness too far, be, it would bring disaster upon the court? Thus, I sincerely hope you're not going to engage in this sap saber rattle. Because this cloud is sure from the facts, I'll hold you responsible. How about you just whip him? Just whip the clown. Let's not make it 8 p.m. All right, Mel. What do you mean, let's not? Don't make a clown out of clowning around. Come on, Nick, just listen to his joke. Maya, no, there are three reason reasons why I don't want to. One, I probably won't laugh. Two, I'll probably get hit with a penalty. Ha! <laughs> three, I'll get whipped. Will the witness just proceed with his factual testimony? You are so boring. Listen, I don't have a lot of life left, dude. Double cheese, double... The double cheese, double bean enchilada is a dangerous menu item. What happened after that, as they say, happens. Ah, 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 ah. That one was cool. I, 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 uh, I hear the kids really love toilet humor. Yeah, no, I, I do not understand toilet humor. I don't. I, I mean, I get it. I understand it. But it's like, they're not funny. I don't laugh at it. And I don't know what it is with Asian dramas, but they love their toilet humor a lot. It just seems like such a low bar humor. I- oh. I don't want it. That joke was so hip, I don't even want to ruin it with a reply. Hmm. Oh! Mo! I didn't even get a choice there! I hate it. I hate this cloud. 
Mr. Curls! Oh, I guess cinnamons aren't allowed either. What should I do? I wonder if I should press a- Let it rest. Oh. I hate it! Ah, I'm gonna cry! I can't believe it! Opposite with, with Clown over here because of his character. His character gimmick sort of thing is that he can't be pressing on everything that he says. What is this case? Oh my god. Vok Harma, I hate you too. Because <laughs> we don't, you know. Oh my god. What is this? So, what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Do you have any clear basis to believe that my witness did not see the crime? I don't know. Oh. Uh... Uh, uh, of course I do. Then let's hear it. That's something I can't share with you at this time. W what did you just say? Mr. Wright, I know there's something wrong with this testimony, but I can't put why I feel this way into words for the judge. A bit more information. Once we find something more solid, we can give it another shot. <laughs> oh, of course I don't. Thank you. Bailed up with the judge. Oh. What? Huh? <laughs> oh my god! I hate it here. You know, most testimony and what he told us yesterday are kind of different. Yeah, I noticed. We just gotta pinpoint what changed. You can do it, Nick. What changed? Oh my god, I don't remember. <laughs> 
penalty galore. It's oh, this is so bad. Okay, but that was like the best outcome. Night of the murder after practice. I went. Don't talk. To, don't try these two. I can't afford it. If it, if, if, if that was like, you know, if it's gonna play it this way, I have to save Scum. What about this one? Explain it there. Oh my god. So it's just, it, this is just like, if you, if you try to press that one again, then you, you get a repeat penalty. Oh, that's awful. faster than I understand. But I don't know how to get to that point. I'm, I'm doing big old logic jumps that I can't prove yet. how it really punishes you for doing the gameplay as they've been training you to do for like the past two games. This is 
wasn't real. Max wasn't wearing his cloak, though. He removed it, but I don't know how to prove that. I kind of want to do... I, I felt like I just did this right. <laughs> Shacks. but I'm not sure what they want from me. Trauma? Yeah! I know! I'm... Well, do you mean, like, PTSD of this case? Because, for real. <laughs> I don't remember. I really, like, of course I don't want to remember, but even then, I'm like, what do you want from me here? And also, this too. I, I don't remember exactly what he told us here, too. I don't remember what changed. So he went, he got, he slept, looked at his window, saw two silhouettes, which... I don't remember what he said about this. me if I say that I'm trying to prove something. This one doesn't give you anything. I I want maybe this one. Pressing. I swear, if I get penalized for this, I'm gonna cry. I heard this amazing noise that was incredibly loud. It sounded like a giant thump. Oh, that's what he said. He looked out of his window upon hearing a loud sound. He did not simply glance out of his window that night. He grabbed a bunch of the thump, didn't I? Uh oh. That's not something you just forget to mention. Yeah, what she said. I feel it would be best if Mo were to revise his testimony. Thank you for pointing that out because I'm now afraid. <laughs> I heard a huge noise. Change! And that's what made me look outside the window. Okay. Well, now that this changed... <laughs> How am I contradicting it? That's what made me look outside the window.
testimony. But what else does that do for me? <laughs> like, I feel we should present here because that's what he had forgot to mention. Maybe, maybe we could press it again. Let's see. What was the sound like? Like, uh, you could say, Mr. Pearl's waiting in the court remind you that you were necessary. I guess it sounds like, uh, I suppose it sounds like someone getting hit with something very hard. I don't understand what this game wants me to do. Just gotta pinpoint which chain, maybe the picture, only once in a footprints. Yeah, I. At this one, I'm like, maybe it's the picture? But. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe... Sob? <laughs> um... I mean, it'll be so obvious by the time that we figure it out. But at the same time, I'm just like, I hate this. Oh. I heard a huge noise outside the window. That's what made me look outside. your idea because my ideas are running out <laughs> I, I, I I'm not sure what direction to go from here what was the other one that had you with a big penalty it's the last one this one right here and then is results of either Von Karma trying to get you 
to get four off of the judge or the judge being like, oh, no, no, no. Because the pressing and the big penalty is the only one I remember having two options. Yeah. So if I press this one, then it becomes, can you prove that he saw it or he didn't kind of deal. Here, let me, let me just play it. You say you saw the ringmaster get clonked over the head. Yes, by Max. You say you got struck with, and the murder weapon wasn't found there. You did say you did see everything, didn't you? Well, uh, I suppose I did. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't see a weapon. Mo, did you see it or not? Objection! I will not permit you to harass my witness for attacking this poor, poor cloud. Because if you don't, you know a penalty is waiting for you. A nice penalty. So what will it be then, Mr. Phoenix writes? Just kill me now. And then when I say, of course I do, but I can't prove it right now, this will remove all four. This one will remove just one. It's so bad. I hate that it punishes you for this. <laughs> Um, like, I'm trying to think. Of course I do. What is the meaning of that? Oh my god, no way. Literally, literally a, a jump or a, a risk? From, okay, I had to press the previous one, the new statement, yeah. <laughs> Literally had to do a leap of faith here, okay. He said that he heard a sound like a thump from someone getting hit. Yeah, he did say that. However, Mo just stated the following under oath. He kept watching them and all of a sudden Max clomped the remaster over the head. If Mo is to be believed when he said he looked up here, he could sound. There's no way that he could have seen Max Clonk anyway. You just had to peel back the layers of the clown makeup to find the truth? For real! It pretty much happened the way I said. Pretty much. When I looked out my window, the ringmaster was already face down in the snow. The prosecution helped me fill in the gas with my statement. Von Karma. So now are you saying that you did not see the defendant clunk the ringmaster? Yes, when I looked out my window, the ringmaster had already checked out. Out. Oh my god, I couldn't read that. Your honor, you did not witness the actual crime, however, you still say you saw the criminal, correct? Y yes, exactly. The ringmaster was slumped over and I saw someone silhouette next to him. Very well, the police testify to the silhouette you saw. I expect the truth, and if I catch you a hint of a joke from you, I'll put you in a holding cell until you learn court etiquette. Got it? Wow, even the judge has no patience for this, this character. None. It's like, I hate clowns. It was a bit far away, but the shadow could have only belonged to Max. There's no doubting it, especially since I saw his uppity symbols. A silk hat, that black cloak, they were all there. Black? His face is silhouetted, but there was no doubt it was him. The cloak was fluttering in the wind, so I couldn't really see what he was carrying. Wait, you're not gonna punish me for this too. Is he- is he gonna just go straight to the point? Please say you're not gonna do something stupid. <laughs> like the previous one. Don't you think that you were going a little over the last? How 
explicit you're being. Shout out below the match is not really for obstruct statement. Obstruct. Okay. What are you getting at? I'm saying that one of the of your fellow performers' lives is online here. Are you 100% truly so absolutely certain that it was Max? person who lie about something as serious as this, but it's not what I saw in Max, I'm convinced of that. Say his eyesight's perfect 2020. You can see the crime scene clearly. So, you didn't actually see what the criminal was holding. That's correct. I've been curious to know what caused that loud noise. It was a bit hard. It was incredibly hard. Too bad they haven't found the murder weapon to know for sure. Play a little more object. At least it says so the awful to that Mo saw someone other than Max that night. That's the only thing I've got. Uh, got. Okay, well, there's one obvious one, I guess. We could try try this first. Let's see. Objection! You say you saw all of Max's uppity symbols. I suppose so. The silk hat, the cloak, right? Well, everyone knows that the Maximilian Galactica has three uppity symbols. Three symbols. Yay! Everyone get ready! All together now! Silk hat, cloak, white roses! What the? Who cares if he knew what they were, three or not? He saw what he saw and he saw the symbols. He just forgot to mention one. Is that right? No. Do you like pie? I love pie. 3.14 something something something. I don't even remember the rest. Like, you would think I would know more, but I don't even know what the next number is. Order, order. No, you didn't see the roses, did you? To be honest, there weren't any roses on the person I saw. Yeah, here we go. The crime scene was dark. It's obvious it was too dark to see that kind of detail. But the witness said he was able to see the silhouette of the criminal's face. Not to mention that the roses are white, there's no way he could have missed them. And the roses was a fallen off the defendant assaulting when the, the uh, defendant assaulted the victim. If that was the case, the police would have found them near the crime scene. Is this right? Are these white roses truly material to me? Back to the case. Clearly not. He's just toying with the court. These seemingly insignificant facts have never failed to lead me to the truth. Someone is toying with the court, but it's not me. Your honor, do you recall Trillo's testimony? saw them all. Trillo saw all three of Max's symbols. However, this witness claims there were no white roses on the person he saw. There's absolutely no doubt that this is a contradiction. Yeah, make it make sense. Because I don't get it. <laughs> I don't understand how we got there. I'm supposed to disregard a pointless with this. Judge, forget the roses! Think about his other testimony! The witness has stated without a doubt that he saw Maximilian Galactica. Nothing else matters, so let's wrap up this case now. It may be trivial, but it does cast doubt on the prosecution's case. Frank 
Sadly, I have my doubts about this witness. It seems that, unlike wine, this witness has not grown more mature with age. I'm not mature. I come to a conclusion. I'm 99% certain that this witness saw the defendant. However, my remaining 1% of doubt is quite reasonable. Which means that from my peace of mind, I'm going to request a bit more testimony. What? If there are no contradictions in this statement, I'm prepared to issue a ruling. A ruling? Nick, this is your last chance. Please, let it end with the clown. I do not want to talk to this clown anymore. There's no doubt in my mind, there were no white roses that night. However, all the other symbols were there. I'm equally sure of that, especially this little cat. There's no way I could bring a scene of decorations on it. He was wearing it the entire time he was on the scene. Ooh, it's time. Don't penalize me when I press, please. Be honest. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I knew it. I hate it. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> I'm gonna eat my brownie. Uh, they only said one chance. I know, but that's so stupid. It's stupid. Do you see why I hate this case? <laughs> oh my god. That is brutal. Okay. Oh shoot. Right. I didn't save. I, I, well, I didn't save before that final one. Okay. Blah 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 There's so much dialogue. I'm just gonna eat my brownie. While they yap it out. Not a single hit of badgering. How is pressing badgering, judge? I'm allowed to take out as much information as I need from these people, unless they refrain to answer, right? Ugh. not press for the decorations on it. wouldn't be happy to be the silk hat you saw that night, would it? Yeah, that's it. That's the hat he was wearing that night. No question in your mind. Exactly. How is... How would one mistake a thing like that? Let's see. There's some sort of problem with this right. This one karma. Where exactly was that silk hat found? I was always asking these questions. It was found at the crime scene. The crime scene? That means... However, the witness clearly testified to the contrary. The witness stated that he was wearing it at the entire time he was on the scene. No, that's not true. Why are you lying? 
lion. Even though, I mean, technically there is salt basis with it, but what is it? Whatever, whatever. I'm just done with this clown. <laughs> Why are you being so mean to me? What did I do? Let me guess, you just didn't like my jokes or something, right? You don't have to go and insult my eyesight or my memory, they're both great. <coughs> Seriously, why? Oh, oh no. I'll always be younger than you. Uh... Enough of these childish outbursts, Mr. Coral. So who do you think you are? I saw him, I swear I saw him. It was Max. Even if he didn't have his roses, he was still wearing his dumb soul cap. I'm telling the truth. Turn into a bratty little kid. <laughs> Pitiful, isn't it? He left the scene wearing that dumb soul cat. He was there! He left the scene? What's the matter, Nick? There's something I've been mulling over for a while now. Mo? What'd you want? He just said that he loved the scene. Exactly how did the murderer leave the crime of the scene? What? He, um... He went... What do you mean, how did he leave the scene? You can't ask me that. Objection! Yes, I can. How'd he leave? <laughs> Mr. Phoenix Royce is badgering the witness, your honor. Objection! Nah, I'm allowed to ask that question. The witness's testimony is full of holes, Miss Von Karma's protest is useless. Ugh. You got a point. Let's hear what the witness has to say on this matter. Is that alright with you, little guy? Don't talk to me like I'm a little baby. Besides, what kind of stupid question is how did he leave the crime scene? The answer's obvious. He just turned and walked away. That's what I expected you to say. You sure that's how it happened? Say what? Huh? I'm not sure I know exactly where you're going with this. The lawyers nowadays sure do love to harp on the smallest things. Do you have any proof to counter his story as to how he- Yes, actually. Check, check this out. Check Look at this picture. The problem is the footprints of the snow. Footprints. In this photo, we can see clearly see the footprints of the victim. However, where are the criminal's footprints? They aren't there. Aye, 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 aye. So, Mo, exactly how did the criminal escape the scene? Um, he, uh, your honor? The witness has already proven that his testimony is completely unre unreliable. I move to strike all the witnesses' testimony from the court record. I agree. This clown's testimony is as worthy as the clown card. He came to court it. Wait just a second. You can't just ignore everything I've said. Fine, fine, I'll tell you the truth this time. Let's just wait. <laughs> you wait a second. I think you've said more than enough for today. Actually, yeah, don't even worry about it. Who cares about his testimony? I'll give you the real deal this time, I swear. I don't know why, but I get the feeling they're gonna get worse before they get better. It does. Yes, that testimony you prided up until now has been false. It hasn't been false, I haven't lied, it's just... It's just what? It's just, I was a bit confused on the bit about the criminal leaving the scene. Especially since Von Karma and her wit told me not to talk about what I really saw. Order, order, I'll have order. Francisca von Karma, how could you? She's so proud of herself. <laughs> Their honor. If you had the tr heard the truth from this witness, you would have exactly the same opinion as I have. He's gonna say it. He's gonna say it. How has her license not been revoked? I don't know. <laughs> That's enough out of you. I'm gonna listen to what he has to say. Now then, let's hear literally the truth. Actual truth now. You're not gonna believe this, but it's all true, I tell ya. Try not to waste our time with your idiotic drivel. Drivel? Drivel? It doesn't know that word. <laughs> Drivel? No. Now it's time for our next segment. Mo knows everything that I've said up until now has been the truth. When I looked outside the window, the ringmaster was down, and Max was standing behind above him. Uh, he wasn't wearing his white roses, but he was wearing the silk hat. That's what I saw. He floated away. 
This is the truth now. Get ready for it. He flew. He jumped and flew through the air. He flew right off and disappeared into the darkness. That's why there were no footprints. Fine people don't leave footprints. Told you. It wasn't funny. Do you believe me now? Well, that was, um... How do you put this into words? Maximilian Galactica is a world-class magician, but to lead the scene of a crime by flying? That's no way that actually happened. You... you're right. Why is she right? You believe the other witnesses? Why would you believe me, especially since it's the best part of the story? Hmm, to be honest, this is the first time I've heard of a flying criminal. What do you think about this witness's testimony? He's telling the truth. What they just said was so strange, I don't think he would have made it up. Which means that he's telling the truth. That's what I think. Nick, wait! That means that Max actually used magic. Yikes, you're right. Only a foolish looking fool could be fooled by such a foolish, just fool. Foolish fool is such a foolish dream. That'd be ridiculous. Magic does not exist. I suppose I will let you all in on my thinking regardless of the matter. The criminal disappeared into the sky. I'd love to believe that, but I just can't wrap our head around how that could actually happen. You didn't miss something. If you just regard a need of proof, this on Karma's case is sound. However, I got a feeling that this case is in dire need of more investigation. Let's have a conclude today's proceedings at this point. In an undisputed fact that the criminal left no footprints at the scene. Tomorrow, I want us to find out the reason behind this mystery of mysteries. Uh, I believe that's enough for today. Court is adjourned. Hey, sweeties. What in the world is going on? Well, I want to know. You see, the criminal flew off into the air and disappeared. Max, I can't believe I'm asking you this, but you didn't fly that night, did you? I know, you didn't mean to ask me such a fabulously stupid question. I can't fly whenever I please, it's not that easy. But it looks so effortless to offer you on stage. It's not that simple. I'm not actually flying on stage. I use invisible wires and have the voice sweep through the air. Hi. Hi, Fushi. How are you? Wow, you just sold the secret to your magic. No! I broke the first rule, the cardinal rule, the only rule. I'm sorry, Max. You only made you break a magician's creeds and never reveal the secret to, you, to their tricks. Nick, what do we do now? What we could do now is hope we find the flying criminal in court tomorrow. Great idea. Let's do our best to catch the sucker. To be continued. I think I'm gonna do the investigation. I'm doing good. I see you're enjoying this obnoxious ca- I'm- <laughs> It is very obnoxious. Super obnoxious. So annoying. Now we have a part two with the investigation. Which we will do. I would like to do part the like do the the part two of this investigation tonight, and then absolutely be screaming about it next week. Doing the same like I'm literally repeating my issues that I had this week, where I'm like I don't remember what he said last week. Let's just try to figure it all out. I don't remember the details. I remember that I hated it. Yeah, I don't think anybody really likes this case, and it this honestly feels like a filler case. It really it's like the filler arc in an anime. This is, uh, this is Big Top. That is definitely Big Top. Turn them out, Big Top. I'm, I'm gonna take a quick break, though. Because, ugh, I've been trying to be better about taking my break. So, again, another three-minute break. So that way we have a whole entire hour with no pre-roll ads. And I will be back. I'm just gonna walk around, finish my brownie, all that good stuff. So, see you in a little bit.
Okay, we should be back. <clears throat> Thank you for letting me have my little break. And we will continue. At least, I think, I feel like the most, the worst part it's past because this second part is also kind of ridiculous, but it makes more s like it, it's it's not as painful or punishing. Cause I don't know, clown clown's case or clown's testimony. I I hate how bad it punishes you for displaying. <laughs> so whatever. Magic tricks. Yep, magic tricks are by the very definition tricks, right? But I can never figure out the tricks whenever I see them. That's because the tricks are performed by pros. They do it so you can't guess the trick. But but the tricky pearly showed me the trick pearly showed me was incredible. Pearl's it a magic trick? What kind of trick was it? Let's see, it looked like she pulled the end of her own thumb off. Ooh, Pearl's got one on you. First, she put her thumb next to her left hand, and then it just separated. She could move it up and down and everything. It was incredible. Really? Was it kind of like this? What? How? How'd you do that, Nick? You're like a real magician. See, this is why I just can't figure out magic. I'm no good at it. Especially hard tricks like flying away from the scene of a murder. You'll take all the fun out of magic if you try keep trying to figure it out. All right, let's talk. I don't see any way out of this. We're stuck between a rock and a hard place. There's no way we can solve the mystery of a criminal flying by tomorrow. I was thinking, do you really think the criminal flew through the air? The only one who thinks that is Mo, right? He says he saw it. That's true. Mo looked awfully serious when he said that. You think he might be trying to frame, frame Max? If that was the case, he would have simply said that I saw Max. That would have been enough. Maya literal media with supernatural magical powers, yeah. There's no reason why anyone would believe he flew. But what if the criminal really did fly? There's no there's only one person who could do that, and it's Max. You're really not helping my confidence here, Maya. Any ideas? Everyone seems to hate Max. Ben, Trillo, Mo? They all have nothing nice to say. I'm a just magician does seem rather full of himself, doesn't he? Especially when he says things like customers only go to the circus to see him. Hit Ben over the head with a bottle. But. But what? But that doesn't seem enough to frame another person for murder. And it's proven that neither Ben nor Mo lied on the stand. Maybe Ben saw the ringmaster wearing Max's costume. But Mo clearly said that he saw Max himself. What do you think of this? No matter how you look at it, that's definitely Max's silk hat. There's even a feather stuck on it. There's nothing wrong with his hat, though. No testimony, right? He left the scene wearing that dumb silk hat. That's what he said, but the hat was found with the one at the scene. Hmm, this really is a mystery. <laughs> trying to think of a joke. You want to know something, Nick? I love to put pepper on my hamburger bowls. But I also like to put pepper on peanut butter and jelly and sandwiches? Huh? You think I'm weird? I've never heard of anybody doing that. I don't seem to be in a very good mood today. <laughs> of course I'm not. I had to find a criminal who has a discovered... Oh my god, I had to sneeze. Who had discovered the ability to fly? Yeah, I guess I'll put you in a bad mood. I don't think my ass tastes much. <laughs> yes. Alright, let's... Oh, no, let's go see... Let's go see Max. Billy Bob Johns. Oh, my sweeties. You mind hurrying up and getting me out of this place? We're doing our best, Max. Just hang in there. A little while ago, some people from the local TV station came by. And since I'm a famed magician, they said, let's make you your own very... T your, your own TV special. 
Really? What kind of TV special? Maximilian Galactica, the great prison escape. It would be aired live. As you escape from prison? Hey, that sounds like it would be an awesome special. But if I do the special before I'm acquitted, they'll never let me out of here for real. Well, it would surely be an unnecessary addition to your troubles with law. That's what I was thinking, but the production staff is already working on the show. If you don't get me out quick, I'll have no choice but to stage a real prison break. You seem awfully calm about that possibility. Nah, I'd have no choice. It would be contractual obligation. That's show business, baby. What'd you gotta say? The night of the crime. You didn't happen to fly off into the sky, did you? Here is how everything went down, sweetie. At the time of the murder, I was sitting in the ringmaster's room. Not to mention, flying off into the sky is not something I can do at will. I don't care what the stoogie clown says, it wasn't me. Max, Max, do you mind teaching me the trick behind flying? Mm, you have to forgive me, sweetie. The difference between me and cheap imitation magicians is that I keep my mouth shut. I don't teach people tricks, but I will say this much. It's much harder than you think. I was thinking about this in court today. I've got a favor to ask you. Anything for you, sweetie. Be friends with the other performers in the circus. Fabulous. A great joke. Why would I be friends with a bunch of hacks like them? But... I won on the world stage. I won the International Grand Prix. International Grand Prix? Performers should always look to perform on the world stage. But the performers at the circus are completely and utterly devoid of ambition. This is something that I cannot simply tolerate. Ambition, huh? Something about what Max just said rings true to my ears. The Grand Prix? Oh my, my sweeties want to hear all about the Grand Prix, don't they? To be honest though, I've told the story like a hundred times, so it's a bit boring. I'm sorry to make you tell it again. You must not have heard me. I really am sick of telling this story. But what can you do? I'm Maximilian Galactica. I suppose I can tell it again. Voila! Here, take a good look at this. I just happen to have a picture from the Grand Prix with me. Just look at that fabulous stage. This is the first stage that I ever flew on. I flew right over the audience. The crowd erupted into applause. At that time, I thought to myself that I could die. Right then, I had and die a happy man. And I'll never forget how I felt that night. The emotions. The acclaim. Wow. <clears throat> By the way, I think everyone who is a performer should get to, get to experience that feeling. I just wish I could explain that to the other people in the circus. That's incredible, Max. I want a trophy too. Hey, Nick, how about you buy me a trophy? That's not how you earn a trophy, Maya. My sweeties, you can have this picture of my triumph. Just make sure you show it to the, all the other... You show it to all the other members of the circus. Look and learn. That's what you should tell them. Learn and how to get thrown in jail. Alright. What say you about this? Tell me more about this. I'm normally fabulous, but in this picture, I'm the king of the world. I even got a fabulous trophy and a super fabulous bust. It's really cool. I wouldn't mind seeing your trophy someday. If you want to see one of my awards, you should just go to the cafeteria. Cafeteria? You mean the one inside the circus tent? Of course, the trophy isn't there, but the bust I won is. It's in the cafeteria? We were just there yesterday. Nick, did you see a bust anywhere inside the cafeteria? No. Actually. Do you know anything about this? Nope. Alright, let's get out of here. You hear that? It sounds like two people arguing. Alright, let's do it. Are you ready? Yes. Uh, wait. Quit your whining! Let's just give this a shot already! Alright, let's go! Row, row, row your boat! Row, row, row your boat! What are you doing? 
gently down the stream. Come on, you know that. I'm trying my best, but Trillo, this isn't just gonna work. If you enjoy saying dumb things, you're gonna have to be on your own someday. If you can't handle something as simple as this, what are you gonna do then? Hello, Ben. Hello to you too, Trillo. What are you doing here? Can't you see we're on a secret crash training course? I'm sorry? Secret crash training? Whoa. Yes, Trillo wouldn't give up until I said we'd try, his, uh, try out his idea for a new routine. So, we were trying to sing in our round for our new ventriloquism act. In a round? You can really do that? That's incredible! See, see, even they're surprised me by the idea. I told you. They're not the only ones. You even surprised me with your idea. Once we got a grip on the basics, then it's just a matter of practice. You, you think so? Oh, I almost forgot. I wanted to give this back to you. Ah, uh, there it is. Now that I got this ring back, it's time to take one more shot at Regina. Oh. Hey. What'd you think about today's trial? Um, I know that you already testified in court already. You wanna talk about what we saw, right? Yeah. Well, at first we thought it was that old man. Just look at his walk and how he acted right then. Oh, yeah, that's right. But then, he said hello and didn't even get a reply. It'd be impressive if a focus could do a round singing by themselves, right? There's only like... There was one ventriloquism act that I saw not too long ago, but it was a it was an older recording. Maybe like in the 80s? And that guy's so impressive. Like, he's able to talk while talking as the whatever inanimate object he was messing with. And I I really can't imagine like having a second voice while talking. <laughs> so I I'm really impressed with the Triloquist acts. That is impressive, yeah. Yeah, it's very impressive. So if, if, if there is like a ventriloquism act where they're able to sing it around like that, that would be really cool to see. Something isn't adding up here. I wonder who they really saw. I hate this little part of the story so much. I was hoping I could ask you about Regina. I'm completely serious about her. That's even why I'm waiting for her even now. Really? That's so sweet. No, it's not Maya. Stop, stop. But if you really wanted to see Regina, shouldn't you just check out the tent? Ha! You haven't got a clue about things, do you, sweetheart? Huh? I mean, like this is part of being in love. How so? If you had a clue... You would know that waiting is such sweet, wonderful torture. When your body aches from your partner's love. That's one of the best parts. Um, yeah, I knew that. Oh, Maya, she's so red. She looks like a vine red tomato. Okay. So how's this new routine working out? We need to just take a chill pill already. Our routines are secret. We're gonna take the truthism world by storm. It'll be a real revolution. That's incredible. Well, let me make things clear. We're not going to take on the world just because the jerk said we should. That jerk. Max Galactica. The former should aim for the world. Who does he think he is? Hello, he said we're going to be fired up about all this. He needs to realize that he is the only one who could conquer the world stage. You're right, you're right. Mark my words, I, Trilopus, will win the Grand Prix. You're the man now, doll. will be the key to a glorious victory. Um, not to rain on your parade, but shouldn't you... What in a more mature song would be best? Hey, you gotta start somewhere, right? Don't screw this up. You gotta be a part of this, too. <laughs> hey, take the world by storm, right? I didn't take a look at this. I guess we don't need you to look at this. After all, he still responds the same way. 
What's this pepper for? Uh, okay, let's go to the big top. Huh? Where's Regina? I don't know. But if she's with that tiger, I don't want to find out. Let's hurry up and get out of here. <laughs> Nick, you're kind of a chicken, aren't you? No, 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 no. It's just, um, I'm allergic to wild tigers. Phoenix, you can't say that. That's my line. <laughs> I say that. For me. Okay, let's go to the ringmaster's room first. Max and the ringmaster had their talk in this room. That could have been when the ringmaster put on Max's costume and went outside. Why didn't he do that anyway? Was it really that cold or something? Mm, I don't see anything new here. So, let's go to the cafeteria. They still haven't cleaned this place up yet. I probably got one look at the state of this place. She slapped whoever was in charge across the face. Remind me to never invite her to my office. This is like on top of this stand. Look here, Max has written on it. It must be his VIP table. This is a bit small to be a VIP table. He won't be putting a 10 course meal on this. Well, he can still eat hamburgers, right? Hmm. I love how she's so excited for hamburgers. So, so excited. Okay, so these are pretty much the same. The only one I want to make sure is this one because he said that his bust is on the table when it's clearly not. Oh, it's you two. You look like you just got hit by a truck. Shouldn't you get some rest? <sighs> I'm taking a rest right now, pal. I've been listening to some crazy clown's life story. This one karma told me to come down here and do this for her. You're not even getting paid for this, are you? Oh my god, but she actually fell through with the whole entire I'll get you your straight man if you just talk. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I figured as much. Let me tell you something, pal. Listening to the old clown sucks all your energy. Every time he's done talking, he looks at you like you should be doing something. Oh. No, um, I think he's waiting for you to laugh at his jokes. I know that, pal. Do you have any idea how much your face hurts if you fake laughing that much? Francesca really set you up that bad this time, did she? If you ask me, she should be listening to Mo herself. No way, pal. You're not gonna get me to backbite a woman with a whip. No way! Why are you defending her? Prosecutor for Karma's always got her eyes on us. And every time you definitely don't want her to show up, whew, there she is. Don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up, don't show up. Looks like she's wound them up pretty tight. Poor guy. She's directly above us as we speak. Huh? How's that possible? Look up. According to the clown, the culprit jumped from here. Um, and disappeared into the sky. If that's what happened, it means the killer passed right by this window, pal. Oh, I see. Who lives in that room behind the window up there? The acrobats got his room up on the third floor, it seems. Pretty soon, Miss Von Karma is going to start her investigation up there. So don't get any ideas in up going up to the acrobats' room. Got it, pal? <sighs> Francisco Von Karma. Once she's done with her investigation, I think I'll go up there and check it out. Yeah. So, this should be Moe's room, right here. I don't want to be her mole. 
If he was here, he would have been able to tell even before he stepped into his room. I'm sure you would have heard his mopping away. Ah, 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 ah. What do you what do you think he is laughing at when he's all by himself? I always thought he was just thinking up new jokes. Hmm, he must really love his work. Maybe too much. Okay. I still am curious about what happened here though. What's his name? Uh, Gumshoe's already gone. Unless there's like something new I should be. with spirit channeling, Maya. Just a thought. If we had a normal judge, you would not believe something like that. That's true. Okay. Well, hold up. Okay, I was just curious if it says anything up here. Mm. Hey, Charlie. Nick, you've been watering that plant every day, right? I've been wa thinking about watering it too. Maya, we don't want to drown poor Charlie. Did he get bigger? She wants the office to look like a tropical rainforest or something. It's important. It's important we say hi to Charlie. Hey, I got nothing new, brother. Brother. You got nothing for me, too? Hey. Hmm. I want to go to the acrobat's room. To his room. I'm missing something. You know what? You don't want to see him. Oof, he's right in front of you. I'm sure the sign says very big circus. Looking around him as you be Circus Galactica. Nah, nah, it's alright. <laughs> Where's Regina? Something new here? Board doors. A ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh, okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. <laughs> I 
I still love that, though. Like, I remember the first game when they started mentioning ladders and step ladders, but now I'm wondering, do they ever mention ladders in the third game, too? I can't recall. Oh, look, finally, something new. Ah, right! Welcome to the wonderful and the fabulous cafeteria! I feel like it comes up every game, I think so. <laughs> Yikes, he's in an awfully good mood. Alright, you know what time it is, riddle time! Why does everyone cry when they eat Mexican pizza? Uh, come on, you can answer this, it's easy! Because cafeteria Mexican pizza is probably a weapon of vow destruction. <laughs> oh my god! Bzz, wrong, try again. Okay, what do you think, girly? Um, oh, I got it. Okay, what is your answer? Because they're in the cafeteria. Exactly! It's an incredible sad place! Incredibly sad place, that cafe! Ah, 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 ah. I did it! Terrible! <laughs> On. He's being too nice. Hey, Mo. It's a nice trial. Today has been a really crazy day, hasn't it? You're telling me. I didn't think it was gonna be so tough. Tough? Yeah, it was a tough crowd. That's what you call a crowd that refuses to laugh. For instance, it was such a tough crowd this morning, I had to smash watermelons. Huh? I told them all a great story to create your jokes, but no one busted out laughing. <laughs> Terry. <laughs> We have to let you go, you're so compromised. <laughs> Even he's the fame, no shoes, no shirt, no service joke. Exactly! How could you not laugh at sunny comedy like that? I mean, witness, are you 100% sure about your testimony today? I saw what I saw, I swear, that creep just... flew through the air? It wasn't exactly flying per se, it was more like floating. The silhouette of his face made me positive it was Max. I don't see a side lock. He must be telling the truth. That's true. We haven't used our side lock in a while. Side clocks. Hey, tell me about this. Ah, not this picture. He showed it to you guys too? Huh? You've seen it all as well? Well, you know what they say about Maximilian Galactica. He really gets around. Ah, ah! <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't just show me the picture. What do you mean? He showed me his bust, too. Let me tell you, that thing is enormous. It's in this picture, I think. And they make us worship it every day. He made us bow to his greatness. He got a big bust? I wouldn't mind hearing more about Max's bust. Not that I'm into that sort of thing. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, when I was first playing this game, when I was younger, when, much younger, I feel like that's just went over my head entirely. I'm like, oh, they're talking about the statue. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm like, oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> I, I, I was so serious about this game that I'm like, he's talking about the statue. Now I'm like, I see where you're coming from, Phoenix. Don't worry, you're only interested in one type of bust. But too bad he's supposedly dead in this game. Do <laughs> you know anything about this? Oh, dang. After all, I'm just a clown. What about this? No. What about this? Mr. Unnecessary Feelings? <laughs> yes. Alright, you're useless. Wait, can you tell me where Regina is? That's ringmaster's daughter Regina. Ever since she was little, she little, little, little girl, she's been watching their circus performances. Cuter than a little puppy Maltese. Not Regina. If only my Lorena was that cute. The tears of a clown. It's just lately I've started to understand what he is always going on about. What is it, then? Well, um, I'm not sure if I could explain it all that well just yet. 
Just when you think it's impossible, Mo flashes a, sim a glimpse of maturity. This is Ben. Is something wrong? He's a ventriloquist, right? That's correct. Boy, was I surprised to find out he had a, belt a mouth for a belly button. <laughs> okay. What do you think of her? Oh. Okay, well, hopefully, now that we talk to him... We will see changes over here. No? Oh! What more do you want from me? What else? What else is there? Um. Alright, Mo. Is there anything else you can tell me? Oh, there we go. Max's butt should be on that small table over there. There's nothing over there. Really? Oh, yeah. Uh, what was it? I'd say about five days ago, all of a sudden, the bus disappeared. It disappeared? If you want to see it, there's a photo on the bulletin board over there. Max just had to put a picture up. Hmm. Hey, this thing's really cool. Nick, Nick, I want someone to make a bus with me. Sure, as long as I'm not paying for it. Aww. Anything else that changed about this place? Nope, nothing changed that I can see. I wonder if he's actually thinking about this or if he's setting up a bad joke. Oh, no, I'm drawing a blank here. Quiet Mo is a good Mo in my book. Correct. I guess there really aren't any other things that changed, huh? Well, there is one teensy tiny thing that does seem different. Tell us, tell us! What changed? Well, on the morning of the crime over on the bulletin board, this piece of paper was posted front and center. It's a paper. It's torn, so I don't know what it said, but I could see its title. Yikes! It says, To the murderer! M -m -m murderer Oh, that's what it says. But the rest of it has been ripped off. And I don't know who posted it. Um, when did you find this? The morning before the murder. The morning before the murder? Before the murder? Yes, the ringmaster was killed the night after. The ringmaster was killed the night after this paper was discovered. I think we'll post it this time. Posted in the cafeteria on the day of the crime, then torn. But then. Hmm. Nick, I think we better follow up on something. Uh, follow up on this important lead. Yeah. Tell me more about it, Mo. The murder that was posted up on the bulletin board. This one was a time when Max plunked Ben over the head. Sorry, I hadn't remembered it until now. I swore now before anyone really paid attention to it. So you don't know what was written on it, do you? Unfortunately, I don't. But I bet you they would know. Who are they? Max and Ben. They were here before me that morning. The greatest magician. I like how that's blurred out there at the bottom. Max and Ben. Hey, Ben. Tell me about this. Stop! Stop! I just need you to talk to me, brother. Oh, okay. Hey, tell me about this. Do you know anything? anything about this note? The morning of the murder was posted on the wall of the cafeteria. I do know about all about that note. When I read it, my heart certainly skipped a beat. Your heart skipped a beat? While I was enjoying my morning tea, the ringmaster company entered the room. The company. I guess it wasn't really a company. It was just the ringmaster, my sweetie pie. When the ringmaster read the note, he turned an incredible bright red. All of a sudden, he tore it off the wall and shoved it into the pocket of his tailcoat. Really? What a curiosity. What in the world was written on that thing? Let's see. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't want to steal the fun from my sweeties. Go on and find out on your- I hate you, Max. I'm gonna choke you. <laughs> I'm sure you can find it somewhere. You might also want to ask my sweetie my pretty, pretty princess. Oh, shoot. 
Burr. Wasting my time. Wasting my time. Please let me read it. Hey, do you see that? There's a scrap of paper shoved in the pocket of the tailcoat. You know, I got a feeling I know what that is. I bet that's the other half of the note that Mo gave us. Let's hurry up and check this thing out. I knew it! It fits perfectly with the other piece. Wow, you like, taped that thing together perfectly. What does it say? What does it say? To the murderer, I have conclusive evidence of what took place. Meet me at 10 p.m. tonight at the Lodging House Plaza. Tonight at 10 p.m.? So the murderer took place. Now I need to find out who called out the ringmaster. about this now? I hate you, Ben. You're annoying, Ben. You too. Now that I have a completed piece, tell me about it. Never mind. You guys suck. Detective Gumshoe, I'm sure you did a good job as usual. Well, I'm done with the investigation of the acrobat, finally. But with Miss Von Karma. He's like hyperventilating, hearing his phone. Nick? What is that sound? That that beeping sound. Hmm. It's Miss Von Karma. Huh? Every time I hear that sound, she's usually not very far behind. Some sort of pager or something? If you don't mind, pal, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here, quick. He has like a- he has like a sensor. It's like a police sensor, right? Except it's specifically for Von Karma. <laughs> See ya, pal! I didn't know that Gumshoe could run that fast. So much for being a flatfoot. I've never seen a grown man so afraid of a girl still in her teens. Well, let's go inside, it's freezing out here. The wind's biting as a- ow! I was biting as lashes from a whip! Oh, is she dead? Von, Von, Von Karma, she really did appear. It was a real battle today in court, wasn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Did you have to jump out of scare us like that? What can I do for you? Tomorrow will be the day, the day my dream finally comes true. You mean the story of my defeat at your hands making the national news? <laughs> national news. You possess such a small sense of scale. The global news, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Your miserable plight will be known internationally. I think she might be overestimating the importance of a win by just a smidge. Hey, we'll talk. Tomorrow's trial. This one karma, it appears you got your hands into something big, huh? Huh, I'm amazed you picked up on that much. Anyone could. You couldn't hide that look of victory with her bag paper bags on her head. I've got conclusive evidence and a conclusive witness. Need any more hints? A, conclu a conclusive witness? You must mean the acrobat, right? I'm putting in the summons for him to be called as a witness as we speak. It's the final nail in your coffin, Mr. Phoenix, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it already. You wanna be in the Can't worry about her. I gotta try and find out more information myself. Revenge? Why do you keep giving Nick the evil eye? It doesn't matter if you do if you prove the defendant guilty tomorrow. Nothing will be able to bring your dad back. My dad? You must mean the esteemed Manfred von Karma. Of course, your dad. I know you miss him. Enough as of you. One more word and you'll get a mouthful of whip. Now, when did I ever bring up my papa's name in this in this or any other conversation? Then, what's this revenge thing you're talking about? You wouldn't understand, Mr. Phoenix, right? I have to see him again, one more time. Him? I'm sure you know whom, to whom I refer. Miles Edgeworth. What? Edgeworth? Mr. Edgeworth? M -m 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 Miles e e Edgeworth? 
Missouri Edgeworth. <laughs> Miles Edgeworth. Why would you even bring up his name? Why would you even bring him up? You haven't forgotten, have you? Do you know that it was your train? That it was that train? Oh my god. Do you know who it was that trained the gifted prosecutor, Mr. Miles Edgeworth? Manfred von Karma? Exactly right. It was my papa. That means that Edgeworth was right again. Miles was like a little brother to me. Huh? Little brother? But I should have met her the same age. Edgeworth. The man who inspired me to become an attorney. I fought against him in a few cases. A little after that case was over. I like how as what is this SL 17, 19 or something? <laughs> Literally gives everybody PTSD from the main cast. <laughs> he vanished. It's your fault. He is gone. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it, Mr. Phoenix Wright? I, I, Nick. What does she mean? Edgeworth's death. Oh, finally. Is is Phoenix finally gonna share a little bit about himself after all? Edgeworth? Oh, Edgeworth was never quite the same after that case, and then with the case after that one. He never set foot into the court again. It's because he's so busy doing his own investigations. Out who knows where. Man, I- okay. Cut real quick. Pause. I really, really, really want them to localize. Like, you know how they're doing it with the trilogies, right? They need to do, like, a dual pack of the investigation series. They have to. I only played the first investigation because that was the only one that they localized. But the second one I heard is really, really good, too. And I'm so sad that they never localized it, so... I really want to play it. Because I like K. K is adorable. They need to. That's what they need to do next. Actually, there was a, a survey that came out that you could answer for Ace Attorney. And literally, that is like every single time that they do uh, any extra words that you want to add, I'm just like, please, please, please do a dual pack of investigations. <laughs> and even all the comments. Like, whenever people are commenting on the announcement to do the survey, a bunch of people were also saying the same thing, too. So, it's kind of insane that they have it. I know, because it is actually a very coveted game. Like, that's a hard game to find. Like, you just don't come across it easy. And, and then I'm so suspicious about buying games off of eBay or, like, those used game stuff. I, I'm always squinty eyes about using those. But I really want them to make like a dual pack just like this one i hope they're in the works for it because there is a demand there is a huge demand amongst the ace attorney fans and it's consistently every single time that they're like hey what this is the future of ace attorney and without fail there's always at least like two or three people who are asking for investigations to come back ow <laughs> And then one day he just vanished because he's investigating really, really hard. And all he left was a simple note at the prosecutor op prosecutor's office. Prosecutor Miles Edwards chooses death. That was one year ago. It was a few months after he left to go back home. Mr. Edwards, he's dead? I don't believe it. He's still alive. I'm sure of it. Somewhere in this world, he's still alive. Prosecutor Miles Edwards chooses death. Of course he did. You ruined his reputation as a prosecutor. You effectively killed him. Killed the prosecutor in him. God, Edward is so dramatic. <laughs> Just like your victory muddled the honorable name Von Karma. I'm going to find him. And then, I'm going to teach him his rightful place with my own two hands. I'm going to choke him when I see him. <laughs> Nick, um, about Mr. Edgeworth. 
<laughs> Phoenix fell for this. <laughs> Naya, I already told you this once. Don't make me do it again. Don't bring up his name in front of me again, okay? Nick? This one, Karma. What? I don't know if you are God's gift to prosecutors or not, but I have enough about of you. Him too! <gasps> oh, shoot! <gasps> he, Phoenix is like, I hate <laughs> Literally stomping his foot. Y'all need to shut up right now. Y'all are too much. I hate this Von Karma family. Literally haunting me every single day of my life. <laughs> this dog is all bark and no bite. He's already been defeated. Regardless, I have nothing to inform of you two today. Tomorrow will be the greatest courtroom battle this country has ever seen. Nick? Let's go. We need to talk with the performer on the third floor. So, honestly, Phoenix is a weird character too. I was talking about this last week at the end of stream. But I like that how Phoenix is clearly his own character. Despite us like having to step foot into his shoes, right? Sorry I brought it up, Nick. But it's interesting that like this scene in particular and anything that has to deal with his past or stuff that he's having a hard time accepting that is like deeply affecting him he's so reclusive and so quick to just defend himself like like pretty much like curl up into a ball like a little hedgehog he does not want to share anything about himself and like anything that's deeply affecting him. So when I, what I was talking about at the end of last week is that he's such an interesting but just strange, strange character. And that for a protagonist that we're actually playing through, we really discover nothing about his life. And he is not only protective to the other characters about his past, like whenever somebody asks him about his past, he needs therapy. <laughs> but it's like, what did this guy go through? That it's one thing that he's secretive to other people in the game, right? Because then you're just like, oh, okay, that's just his personality. But then it's another thing that despite us playing in his shoes, we also, as a player, know nothing about Phoenix. And it's interesting that across the board, he's just secretive with everybody, including us. Which makes the impact of him turning into a big old hobo... <laughs> In, in Apollo Justice even more like bigger to me because when I played when I first got introduced to the Ace Attorney series I say this every single time and I'm going to keep saying this every time we play a, uh, Ace Attorney but I started with Apollo Justice so I started with Phoenix at his like worst at his like at the bottom of the barrel literally just scraping by and showing like the worst part of himself to everybody. And then when I go back and I play these games, this, these first trilogies, I'm just like, oh my god, this is actually what Phoenix was actually like. And then I'm playing through that being like, oh, I'm, I'm learning so much about Phoenix in ways that I didn't know before. And then I go back to Apollo Justice and go, wait a minute, I actually still know nothing about Phoenix at all. He hasn't shared a smidge of anything. If anything, he just becomes more snarkier and sassier. And then he loses it when he becomes a lawyer again. <laughs> like, I actually kind of miss how mean and sassy he is in Apollo Justice. Because you could tell he's a seasoned dude now. He's, he's, he's become experienced and he knows and he is very perceptive. And he looks at Apollo and goes, oh my god, this guy is like green, wet behind the ears, right? So I, I liked I liked seeing that growth of him when I replayed all of the games, like in the actual order that it was intended. But starting with Apollo Justice gave me such a different viewpoint of Phoenix. The biggest Phoenix lord up you get is Dahlia case. Oh my god, Fushi. So the reason why I'm playing these games again, because I, I finished the first game on stream, right? I'm trying to, I wanted to start with Trials and Tribulations, but I'm like, oh my god, but I haven't even played Justice for All on stream, and I really want my friends to see the Dahlia case, <laughs> because Dahlia is, oh, oh, she is, like, one of the best characters in the worst way, but she really is such a g compelling character. I, I feel 
that out of all of the Ace Attorney characters in the series, Dahlia has like the biggest impact. And I think it's because she has probably like the biggest insight to Phoenix. Like aside from Edgeworth and Larry, Edgeworth and Larry will always have like that big turning point in his life. But Dahlia lets us have a side of him that we really didn't know and that he doesn't share and he doesn't harp upon and he doesn't talk about it still. Like, even if it's brought up, he doesn't really expand on it any more than he needs to. He only tells us the facts about everything and he might be like crying and being a civilian college student, but still, he doesn't really tell us anything. And it's, it's interesting. He's such an interesting main character because of it. Anyway. It, it, it's it's cool to see like here he's super uncomfortable acknowledging his feelings about the situation he's he's torn it's obvious that he's torn about it it's obvious that he's hurt by it but he really doesn't want to talk about it so in the end you're right he needs therapy but what <laughs> but i'm just like oh my god what has this guy actually gone through aside from redacted redacted and redacted from from the third game <laughs> that's what we find that out that he he's like this that is that's that's so interesting to me i i really really like phoenix all right acro's room finally let's go you must be phoenix right yes Pleased to meet you. I'm Ken Dingling. That was your name? <laughs> Wait, I don't remember your last name being that. Huh? Ken Dingling. But here at the circus, everyone just calls me Acro. Mr. Acro. Um, how do you know my name? The detective told me. He said you'd definitely show up here. Acro, you're a member of the circus as well? That's right. I mainly perform on the tightrope or the flying trapeze. But nowadays, all I perform in is in my wheelchair. Okay. Very big circus. Acro, why did you join the circus? When I was a kid, my parents failed miserably at business. And one night, they decided to run away from it all without me. That's so terrible. He's... Oh my god, he's one of those that is like... He will tell you his traumatic backstory and everything that's terrible that happened in his life with a smile on his face. The only person who was willing to take my parents' place was the ringmaster. The ringmaster took such incredible care of me. He was truly a lifesaver. It seems like the ringmaster truly was a saint. He was. That's why I decided to do something very important. I decided that I would devote my entire life to finding a way to repay him. But now how someone repaid him for all the good in his life. It's such a shame. Sometimes I think he was almost too kind. Perhaps he was too kind to his performers. Perhaps he was too kind to his daughter. Hmm. I wonder if he spoiled Regina. Regina's so cute. She's truly a princess. Truly a princess. Are you sure that's a good thing? Um. Hmm? Do I set the hint of a grudge against Regina? Um, I'm sorry to ask, but why are you in a wheelchair? The nerves of my legs are badly damaged. And you can't walk now. You can't even stand now. And since I live on the third floor, I can't even leave the building, this building by myself. That's awful. Then I said it happened during an acrobat acrobatic session, right? Cyclops. It doesn't seem like Acro's ha injuries are acrobatic in nature. What's on your mind, Mr. Wright? Well, exactly when were you injured? It's been almost six months since I was last- since I was hurt. I injured my legs during practice. Six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus then? What happened? I stopped by yesterday and noticed that you were in your room. I was at the hospital all day yesterday. Uh, you went there for rehab. What about the murder? Of course I knew about it. I spoke with the police before they allowed me to go to the hospital. Before I got the call from the prosecutor, I was convinced it was all a dream. Huh? I just couldn't believe it when I saw what I saw. What you saw? Jeez, that sounded really ominous. What 
to witness. What'd you see, Akro? At night, I was in bed sleeping when I heard a huge sound coming from below my window. I see. I see how the crime was right below your window. That's what I looked out the window. What did you see? He was flying straight up into the air. He? Maximilian Galactica. What? That's what I thought he'd say. You're absolutely positive that it was Max you saw flying. I'm absolutely sure. There's no doubts in my mind. Nick. What do you know about this? Hmm. What's this? That's what we want to know. It was posted in the cafeteria the morning before the murder. In the cafeteria. What happened? He suddenly looks incredibly serious. If it's got something to do with her, then you should go straight to the source. Her? Regina. Ask her about it. Oh my god, he hates Regina. Do you know anything about this? Maximilian Galactica, right? You don't have to forgive me, but I try not to think about him. I feel we even look at it. it. Looks like something's really weighing on him. What about this? What about this? What do you think of this? I'm sorry, but in my present, present physical condition, I really don't much about what goes on outside this room. But it's Pepper! Do you know anything about that? Okay. Tell me about the monkey. Hmm. The money is a great friend to me. A pile of treasure over there is his collection, huh? It is indeed. Money will bring anything back with him. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I'm not great with the ladies, but I seem to be pretty popular with animals. Look at this photo for us. No problem. Oh, this is how it ended for him. Such a shame. He seems awfully calm, and his eyes have a look of sorrow and profound pain. My legs weren't like this. I would have been able to prevent this from happening. That's an absolute certainty. Trash. Man's from that trash is another monkey's treasure. Get you right, look at all the shiny things. He's even got a motorcycle exhaust. They call these things a tuba, right? Of course it's a tuba, silly. You didn't know that? Hey, it's a picture of Regina. Well, she is a shining beauty. No objections here. There is a picture of Regina in there? That's kind of. <laughs> Money must use this to swing around on. Go ahead, Nick. I wanna I know you wanna write on it too. Maybe later. has got proverbial game. Hmm. I was hoping that Acro would comment on these things. I was hoping you should some light on Ben. Well, he's always he'll always be here. And as long as he's here, he really can only continue to be a ventrilo ventriloquist. Whether that's a good thing for him or not, I'm afraid I can't really say. Regina. She's cool, isn't she? Can you believe such a cute girl is an animal tamer? It seems animals are not the only thing she tames. Huh? That's the ringmaster, Ben. She's got them all under her thumb. What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. I don't want a bit overboard. It's just Regina's innocence. She was incredibly sheltered as a child. I'd say it seems that way. That's why she can be so cruel. What? Regina is just like the animals she claims to tame. She's innocent, but she can she can be cruel. I wonder what happened between Acro and Regina. 
ringmaster. He was even more of a father. He was even more than a father to me. When he took me in, the circus was in bad shape. It was obvious that he had no real way to support us. What does he mean by us? Is that why he started with acrobatics? Back then, I was only nine years old. I begged the ringmaster to let me in, and he finally gave in. And having a kid in the circus was probably the last thing in the world he wanted. I just wanted to be helpful so I could help the ringmaster. Story. I can't believe what happened to the ringmaster. Such a wonderful man. What a pity. I know clue what to do with my life now. I'm sorry. Circus mis meant everything to me. Don't worry about me. There's still things that I have left to do in this world. The ringmaster really believed in Mo 100%. What will happen to the circus now that the ringmaster is gone? Beginning of the Lawrence Curls era, I suppose. Whenever it's really alright to let Mo run the show. Mr. Wright, you don't know much about Mo, I suspect. You can see right through me. Oh, Nick, you can't let him get to you like that. You're an attorney. Alright, we'll be back for you. We'll be back. Yeah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Phileo Phoenix! Stay, stay, heal! Oh, Maya, Nick! It's you guys! I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A uh, mistake? Yeah, I'm a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. I was, just, I was expecting more of a monkey than a human. A monkey? Hey. It's a pity about what happened to the ringmaster. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite a man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. For a while? Yeah, when dad when Leon died, I talked to my dad and he told me that. What? I didn't get to read that. I guess you just become a star in the sky? A star? That means my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, you just become a star in the heavens. That's kinda sweet. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Oh shoot. I don't know why I keep like double pressing. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone is doing great up there in the sky. Uh huh. Just to go back and clear something up, why do you want to teach Money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. Why does it keep double pressing? Oh, is it because of. No, that. Okay, I thought it was like the, the button behind my controller that's doing it, but. It's not. Something that means a lot to you. It must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got a lot of spang spangles. It's really beautiful. You should see it. You should? When the costume gets hit by a spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney. Huh? If you saw the monkey... You got my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Gladly. But of course. I'll get it for you. Wow, Phoenix. This is this is too simpy. I don't like that one. But of course. I just say I'll get it for you. Leave it all up to us. Why does it keep skipping? Yeah. You're really gonna do it? Yeah. If only I knew why I was skipping dialogue like that. Let's go back and clear it up. Because he's a meanie. Oh, I just accidentally hit the same button. about this. Regina, have you ever seen this before? Uh, I know what this is. Really? Well, it was in my pocket for a while. It was in your pocket? This piece of paper was in your pocket? I 
guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. Breakfast time? Yeah, I always take Akro his breakfast in the morning. That's when I also take out the trash in his room. Then I go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast. That's when you realize the piece of paper was in your pocket? Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged to someone else's pocket. Oh my god. <laughs> and then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board for the cafeteria, did you? I did! I stuck it up there! How'd you know? Hmm, so it was Regina who put it up there. When did this happen? Oh my god, I just skipped through it. It was probably the day of the murder. That explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. You know anything about this? That's Pepper, isn't it? From the cafeteria. Oh, huh? it's from the cafeteria. It's not? I remember seeing it there. So this is the cafeteria's Pepper. You know, I'm not a big fan of Pepper. loves to cause trouble because I just pressed A and it finished all by itself. Crap. <laughs> but don't you think using a tiger to scare him is a bit much? Mm -hmm. Why is that? You really had to ask that? It's dangerous to use a tiger for that kind of thing. It's not dangerous at all. I mean, it's just a little kid. I've seen plenty of kittens, but that's no kitten. Say no to these girlies. Something smells fantastic. So we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bishko Good Sir, aka the cafeteria. Mm, it smells so good in here. And those burgers look great. She's rolling like she's some sort of crazed burger monster. My burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted bun, special sauce. Absolutely irresistible to anyone with hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into bur hamburger heaven. I bet. I can tell by the smell. Oh, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have had a special power. How about the Rainmaster is dead? I don't even know. That's what it's <laughs> That's all I have thought about for the past two days. Everyone loved Russell's. Have you heard Agro's you've heard Agro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? down a bit now that he was livid when he heard about the murder. Akro was so upset that he couldn't go on. That he said he couldn't go on. Was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave him some thought. Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. But thinking of trying on Ringmaster's shoes. On the Ringmaster's shoes? What? Really? Max will still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue with his importance. Probably the only reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left to see is if everyone can get over the tragedy. Tragedy? You know, what is he talking about? Get over it. Get over what tragedy, Mo? Huh? Don't worry about it. It's nothing, nothing at all. You must mean the tragic death of the ringmaster, right? Uh, yes, yes, that's it. You're right, girly. Dang, 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 Corrector Muno. 
Is that even a game? No, I mean, no disrespect here, but aren't you lying to us? No, no, not at all. What makes you think that? Just the way you said if everyone could get over the tragedy seemed a bit strange. I don't know why it does that. Ah! No, I'm right, aren't I? Hmm. So now we're getting this. It was just about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Six months ago, huh? I have two. This in your hamburger? Put MSG in his hamburger. Will you talk about this now? Or will you talk tell me about him? You are just wasting my time. taking Max in for questioning again. There really isn't anything that we need to ask him right now anyway. <gasps> but what about Acro? Surely he knows about Acro, right? Hmm. Hey, Acro. Tell me about this. Hmm, what's this? That's what we want to know. Answer the first question. I have to ask you, how were you injured? An accident or in practice? Yes, unfortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. He's lying. Are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? Yo, we got nothing on this. Oh, shoot. Oh, and I still have my leftover pain! Oh no! Okay. Let me save all of this. Oh, okay. I need to take a quick break. I will do another three minutes of ads. I really need to walk around and stretch. And I've been standing for like the past hour, so time for me to switch positions. Do we want to be listening to this music this entire time, though? I'll just... Shh. Put back the killing time. Okay, I'll be... right back. Just gonna take a quick break.
Let's continue. Thank you, thank you. So, we need to figure out his accident. But I'm like, what the? Is it an update? Hmm, Mo's not here. What's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick. You're scaring me. Nick, it's money. The monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? All right, time to take on this monkey, attorney style. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> Give it back, monkey brain. Stay. <laughs> okay, Phoenix. Oh, oh. Ah! Oh, he got defeated. I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him. I really did. Nick, you, you. I swiped it while money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it. Huh, you can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean, I wanna try on Regina's costume. Maybe then they'll take you in at the circus and I could get some peace and quiet, wow. Hmm, what's the matter now? It doesn't fit me at all. Oh, oh, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention, it doesn't look like something any girl I know would actually wear. Hmm. Here you go, Regina. Yay, thank you. You really got it back for me. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. Oh, that's, that's not fun. No wonder guys melt to mush in front of this girl. Hey, Regina. The costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume? This isn't mine. It was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion that she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Wait, can you talk about that? Leon. Oh, Leon. He was killed, right? Wasn't he? That's right, my dad killed him. Why? Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice? Leon was sitting down and then he opened his mouth and he was ah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually, when he did that, I would put my head into his mouth. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always loved seeing me do that. They'd always start screaming. You sure they were screaming because they loved seeing you do that? Anyways... What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. Regina? Everything was alright though, right? No, it wasn't alright. That was a problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. Six shot by the Mining Master six months ago for binding a performer. You name Money the Monkey and Regent Regina's Tiger? Guilty as charged. But Leon got his name from the Ringmaster. Really? He always said keep names simple and easy to associate. Nick's name is easy uh, to associate, right? Right? I always said Russell, if that's what makes you think, then call him Lion the Lion. It's a great name, don't you think? Imagine if he could talk. I'm a lion. Ha 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 ha. Lion. But that's when Russell said, don't lie to yourself, that's an awful name. Mm. <laughs> K. 
can I get you to talk? Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on at the circus? Okay, okay. There's no need to look so scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there! Some juicy burgers! Let's eat instead! I didn't catch any of that. Uh... Actually, I've kind of got an idea about what happened back then. Mo, you said something about an accident. This wouldn't be the cause of that accident, would it? You heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during practice, right? How did you- I told them so many times. You shouldn't be doing such dangerous acts. Like, putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He never could say no to her. Out of curiosity, who was bitten? Come on, Mo, don't clam up on me now. Who did Leon bite on the head? Um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. He promised. He's involved in this too. He's involved, huh? Mo must be talking about... Is this the person? It must have been Acro, right? How, how did you know? Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the Ringmaster. No. No way. I need to know the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Acro. Ooh, juicy! I love that for me. It's just like you said, you know, the accident. Did someone die? No. It would have been, been blah, 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 but it would have probably been better if he'd had. He's still alive. And when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He never recovered from the coma that he's in. Coma? All he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital, and that's all he's ever gonna be able to do. I see. How is he related to Acro? He's his brother. Huh? The one who got bit was Acro's brother. Brother? They were an acrobatic team of brothers, Acro and Bat. Cute names, I thought. Anyway, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Um, who was Acro's younger brother? Sean Dingling. But everyone always just called him Bat. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Everyone seems to fall in love with Regina. Six months ago, when we were practicing, all of a sudden Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon! Why'd he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon looked like he was smiling. You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. When he bit down, he was smiling. No way, that's impossible. A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all these incredible events? Nick? Can Lion smile? Uh... We never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if we had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon and shot him out with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious, what was I supposed to do? I had to tell you. All the truthfulness has put me in a mood for burger. Burger. Here, you two have some pepper. Shaka, 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 shaka. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. 
That's you! Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. Huh, you think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel? That's a basic clownmanship. Girly, I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Just start putting on the clown makeup, Maya. Just start, just start putting it on. Does Regina sneeze with pepper too? She does. That would always tease her with pepper. That? From my point of view, those two always look so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? go for a burger right now. I really could. Hey, tell me about this guy. What do you think about this? Sorry. Sorry. I've already given my heart to another man. So I'm not interested in rolling in your dating service. What? Even him? Okay. I don't think we have enough for Acro. Ah, Mr. Ryan, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? We're back because Acro's hiding in why his legs were injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows what we know. Oh well, it seems like you got things you want to talk about, so fire away. I do. I do. Truly, I do. Because once we're done here, I can end stream. <laughs> Alright, brother. Tell me about your brother. What? He's lying! Oh my god. Boom. About the wheelchair. I'm sorry, an accident during practice. Fortunately, acrobats are prone to all sorts of injuries. It's lying, if that's real, because he kind of kept secrets. Are you really telling me that a practice accident- Are you really telling me that a practice accident was the cause of your injury? I'm assuming- Leon. Leon. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion. That's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track, I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Okay, maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battle the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I bat decide to battle a lion? You had to fight to save someone. That. It was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. Have you tried- you tried saving him, did you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. Mo, he must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to the accident. I suppose it was just the slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Anyways, they're an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That was where he slipped, and that's how I figured it out. You two ended up together at the same incident. You two ended up at the center of the same accident, together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I saw how they broke an Acro's last psych lock. This one must be an incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe this one you don't like too much is the reason you're being evasive. Regina. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her. I, I just imagine <laughs> you talk to this guy and then right when somebody mentions Regina, it's just his face darkens. It just goes black and white around him. Completely different aura. Every time. Without fail. Saying things like she is cruel. 
Well done, Mr. Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you? Twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious, I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to attack a bat, are you? Leon was ever taught a command to attack people. Regina is capable of doing anything like that. Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Oh, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Acro, maybe it'll... You'll... Here's proof that you had it out for Regina all along. Th this is... Where'd you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board on the in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess I noticed it was in there around breakfast time. I always take Acro his breakfast in the morning. You wrote this, and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. My legs were injured by Leon, six months ago. My younger brother Bat had a dare with Regina. A dare? An absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to, to, I'm assuming you have to date me, you have to marry me? That's insane, didn't he know how dangerous that is? We all thought he was being stupid too. But that lion was very old to begin with. An age brought with it countless experience at doing that very trick. Unfortunately, at this particular time, I guess Leon wasn't ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Poor bat. When Leon chopped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up. What about bat? in a coma. I went to, to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again. And that's the reason why I keep going. Bat and Regina. You were such great friends. Oh, yeah. I wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is a scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Oops, it's covered in blood. A scarf. It was a present for Regina to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. He? Leon, obviously. Oh! He bit down on Bat's head. The expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick! I know, most of the same thing. What does it mean? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. Miss Juan Karma? I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. But the scarf is evidence of the trial. That is for me to decide. I think we should begin our preparations now, Acro. Preparations? I've served the summons to Acro to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro, we'll talk, we'll talk more at the prosecutor's office. Acro, a witness? Come, Acro, let's go to the office. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we gonna handle tomorrow? Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll figure something out. Look at you all full of confidence. You must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. It's all coming together. Ooh, we finished! Yay! Yes. You know, Von Karma just coming out here and tampering everything. The entire Von Karma line and their protege really love to tamper with the evidence. They really, really, really do. Yes. But alright. Nice. 
we did it. We finished the investigation. Now it's going to be part two of this trial. And then we get to the juicy junk, which honestly, I don't remember the last case in this either. <laughs> I I don't remember the last case. <sighs> so even then, it'll just be brand new to me. Um, but okay, so next week again on Thursday, maybe hopefully a little earlier. Honestly, I started late later than I anticipated today, but still streamed enough to where I wanted to be. Last case has to be Edgeworth. I hope so. I really don't remember though, so I can't even spoil it for you if I even wanted to. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think last case, if I recall right, it's actually juicy, plot heavy, really good. Good callbacks, I guess. Well, not really good, but I guess like good callbacks. And um, I don't remember the case being painful. Wait, that's a lie. Maybe it was painful. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but I will be playing more next week. The last cases are always so good. Yeah, they're typically really good and very... Mo like, it's so sad that I don't remember, but I guess it's been so long. Um, I feel like I purposely blocked it out of my memory for some reason, though. There has to be a reason why I blocked it out of my memory. And I think I know why. Because there's a certain character that kind of comes back that I'm like, ugh, I thought we were done with you. But we weren't. Might be a good thing you get to experience it again. Yeah. I think this is the only thing I'm thankful for, for my terrible memory. One, I'm totally going to get dementia. But even though that th that's the case and I'm at like super high risk for it, at least I can play games again and be like, wow, that surprised me. And they and then people will be all, are you sure you played this game before? And I'll, I, I could tell you, yes, I played this game. Don't remember a thing. <laughs> so... Yeah, I guess it could be like a first time experience all over again because I really don't remember the specifics. Even in this case, like I I believe I remember who the actual suspect is. But I don't remember how to get there. Right with the top tier optimism. Yeah, yeah, that's how it should be. <laughs> so yeah, again, next week I will be playing this game. Maybe a little earlier because I do want to start on case four at least. So maybe the first investigation for case four because it's a pretty long one. The last cases are usually the longest ones too. So we will we will be spending a good chunk of time on that. Hopefully wrap this one up if it doesn't make me tear my hair out, which it shouldn't. Now that we're past the ventriloquist and the clown... I feel the Acros thing trial is not so bad in comparison. There are moments where it does punish you, but it doesn't feel as stupid as the clowns. <laughs> so I, I I think we should be able to finish case three and then start part uh, episode four. Okay, well, that's it for me. Let's see if there's anybody we could raid. That is playing Ace Attorney right now. Just, you know. Give, give forth the love. The love of Ace Attorney. And people have been so kind of raiding me previously. Kind of want to keep the trend going. Thank you for streaming. Yeah, thank you for, for hanging out with me. Hmm. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, good stream. Yeah, thank you for joining. I'm glad you were able to come by. Alrighty, so I'm going to fast forward you guys to somebody named Coldra, Coldria. Thank you for being with me for the night. And... Maybe we can hang out here for a little bit and watch this dude. Oh, he's playing the Emma Sky one. <laughs> he's playing the, the one with um the Sky Sisters. Ooh, that's a good one. All right. Well, 
I'm going to send you all over here. And yeah, have a good night. Thank you for hanging out.